An eye-opening experiment was conducted in an operating room laboratory to show how patient warming affects the air you're breathing. The results are breathtaking. A mannequin wearing a surgical mask simulates the anesthesia provider. Air is inhaled through an opening at the nose and mouth. The laboratory is equipped with a laminar airflow system. An air pressurized gun dispenses blue chalk powder to simulate airborne contaminants. A clean filter is placed over the airflow path to capture inhaled particles. The intake tube connects the anesthesia provider to the suction fan. The laminar flow system is effective. An inhalation simulator is operating. An upper body forced air blanket is warming on the high setting. Chalk dust is aerosolized near the patient's head under the anesthesia drape. It is sprayed 10 times from a consistent angle, well below the anesthesia provider's breathing zone. The air currents of rising waste heat are easily visualized with a green laser. The filter is removed to reveal inhaled contaminants. With the forced air system on, the lungs are covered in airborne particles. What happens when we use an air-free patient warming system? The hot dog conductive fabric blanket is warming the upper body on high setting. A new filter is placed over the airflow path to capture inhaled particles. The intake tube connects the anesthesia provider to the suction fan. Again, the laminar flow system is effective and the inhalation simulator is operating. Chalk dust is aerosolized near the patient's head under the anesthesia drape. It is sprayed 10 times from the same angle and position as the forced air warming experiment. With no waste heat, the chalk is cleared downward by the laminar flow ventilation. The filter is removed to reveal inhaled contaminants. With the hot dog system on, the lungs remain virtually clear. What caused the drastic difference in the amount of inhaled particles? The conditions in each group were identical except for the type of warming system used. Forced air warming systems blow hot air to warm the patient. The hot air is vented under the blanket, escapes, and rises along the anesthesia drape. The rising waste heat transports airborne contaminants, including bacteria and viruses from contaminated areas. A dozen studies have shown that forced air warming systems contaminate the sterile field which can lead to increased infection rates in certain procedures. But this is the first time that it's been shown how forced air systems can transmit airborne particles to the breathing zone of the operating room staff. In contrast, air-free warming systems do not generate significant waste heat, eliminating rising currents of warm air that vectorize harmful particles. Air-free warming is a safer way to manage normothermia for the patient and, as demonstrated in this experiment, it's significantly safer for the staff as well.